My name is Cheryl and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Meet Simple. In this video, I will be analysing a past year examination question on the topic of living and non-living things. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 3. Elsie observed the following things for two weeks. As you can see from this diagram, there is a cute little dog here. Question says, based only on her observations, she concluded that it is a non-living thing. Now, what is the meaning of concluded? Concluded means we confirm that this dog is a non-living thing. But what Elsie must have observed, such that she can confirm that this is a non-living thing? Let's take a look at her observations below. Elsie's first observation is that the dog barks on its own. Now, let's consider two scenarios. If this dog here is a living dog, will it be able to bark on its own? The answer would definitely be yes. But now, what if this is a toy dog? If this is a toy dog, will it also be able to bark on its own? Yes, it would be, correct? When you switch the toy dog on, the toy dog will be able to move and also will be able to bark on its own as well. So would Elsie be able to use this observation to determine that this is a non-living thing? She would not be able to do so because a toy dog would also be able to bark on its own. Now, let's take a look at the second observation. The second observation is that the dog does not eat food. Let's consider the two scenarios again, a living dog and a toy dog. If this dog is a living thing, does it need to eat food? This dog would need to eat food to survive, correct? If not, what would happen to the dog? The dog would die. But what if it is a toy dog? If this dog is a toy, does it need to eat food? The toy dog would not need to eat food. So this second observation actually helps Elsie to confirm that this is a non-living thing. Let's take a look at her third observation. It does not grow in size. Let's consider the two scenarios again. If this dog is a living thing, will it be able to grow in size? If you recall, one of the characteristics of living things is that living things can grow. So if this dog is living, it would be able to grow in size. However, if this is a toy dog, would this toy dog be able to grow? No, it would not. That's why the third observation would allow Elsie to confirm that this is also a non-living thing. Let's take a look at the last observation. It moves from one place to another. Similarly, let's consider the two scenarios again. If this dog is a living dog, would it be able to move from one place to another? Definitely, because living things can move by themselves. But what about the toy dog? Is the toy dog able to move from one place to another? You would realize that there are some toy dogs, when you turn them on, they would be able to move from one place to another, right? So this last observation would not allow Elsie to confirm that this is a non-living thing because a toy dog would also be able to move from one place to another. Based on what we have discussed, the correct answer would be B and C only, number two. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we're on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!